What's going on guys, welcome back to Nolan TCG, and we are back here today for another deck profile, and this time, it's for Six Samurai. So as always, if you've been on the uh, the channel for a while, uh, you will know that Six Samurai is something I do pretty regularly. Uh, this time we've decided to switch it up and go for something that's trying to just be as crazy big board as possible. Uh, we're not doing the FTK list for this one, so if that is something you want to check out, do check out a previous video. Uh, all that stuff is still perfectly legal, so feel free to go ahead and use it. Uh, for this list, it is not the friendliest thing for Master Duel. Uh, I would definitely not recommend this list for Master Duel. Um, it's just something that out and out doesn't work with Sayuja at 1, uh, and the combo just takes forever, and you're not going to get that done in your 5 minutes that you're going to get. Uh, but stay for the end if you want to see combos. We're going to show big, big, big board. Before we do get started, please do remember to drop down below, hit that subscribe button if you are new here, because we are always happy to have new people to the channel. And let's get on into this deck profile. Before we do get started on this one, though, it is brought to you, of course, by YourPlayMat.com, who got us our beautiful Nolan TCG Extra Deck sleeves. These are available on YourPlayMat.com, as well as you can get custom sleeves and custom playmats, so whatever you need for the current format. Uh, there is an affiliate link in the description down below that does get you a little bit of a discount on your order. Also, enter the code uh, NOLAN10YP for 10% off your order. Also kicks back a little bit to the channel, so everything will be very much appreciated. If you're shopping there, you're getting custom sleeves, custom playmats down. Make sure to enter our code at checkout. But, let's get on into this deck profile. Okay, so starting us off, we do have our relatively solved 6M, li uh, 6M list. Um, I've kind of got everything down the way that I 100% want to be playing this all the time now. Uh, we do start off with our 3 copies of Kageki. Uh, you do, of course, want to open this with the next card. It is 3 copies of Kizaru. Uh, open one of each. It is full combo. Those are the 2 cards that we're going to demonstrate when we're doing the combo video at the end. So, do stay for that one if you want to check that out. Uh, after that, we get into our two ofs. We have two copies of Hatsume, um, just your standard extender. You do need two of them in the combo, or you at least need one in deck, which is why we're playing two of it. Uh, then we have two copies of Legendary Secret of the Six Samurai. Uh, this is probably the card that yo-yos the most in this list. Uh, at the moment, it's at two. If we needed more room, like if I was playing cross out, I might have cut this to one, given that you search it if you're doing the standard combo. But if you open it, Still a really good card. Um, you can get through to other things, of course, which are just going to help you plus so much harder in the late game if you do open the Legendary Secret. So, you can play it at 3, 2, or 1. I've just kind of settled on the 2 at the moment. Uh, for our free extenders, we've got 3 copies of Legendary Secret 6 Samurai, or Legendary 6 Samurai Kizan, and then the 1 copy of Grandmaster. Uh, you're just going to be looping these so much when you're doing full combo, so do keep that in mind. Uh, that's the reason why we're playing these. Of course, this is the reason why you're playing these. This is the reason you play Six Samurai. These cards are broken. Uh, then for the loop, we've got two copies of Mizuho and two copies of Shinai. Uh, then for our one-offs, we've got uh, one copy of Fuma and one copy of Squire. I uh, have solved the Fuma-Squire issue in the deck. Uh, you do need to play both of them, and I will show you during the combo as to why. Uh, and then we have, of course, rounding out the main deck for monsters, three copies of Fiery Flint Lady for generating free extenders and one copy of Artifact Scythe, because we're doing that, aren't we? Uh, then we get into our spell cards. So we have three copies of Sheen's Dojo, of course, uh, gives you free extension. Uh, three copies of Sheen's Smoke Signal, of course, just more kind of reinforcements, I guess. Um, then we have one copy of Gateway. Uh, of course, you can do Gateway things. If you open it, you add Sheen's Dojo. If you don't, you don't. Uh, for our level 4s, we have 3 copies of Living Fossil. They aren't 3 copies of Living Fossil. They're 3 useless equip spells. 4 useless equip spells, because we need to play 4. So we've got Living Fossil, Phoenix Blade, uh, Durandal, and DDR. Now I question if, D if Phoenix Blade got banned. It doesn't matter, it's completely useless. You just switch it for something else. Uh, next off, card. I could not decide on what to play for this specific card slot. Uh, at the end of the day, I feel like I've still made the wrong choice. Uh, I'm playing 1 copy of 1 for 1. I would probably recommend one copy of Rhoda. Uh, given that Rhoda is your entire deck, the one for one is a neg. Uh, now that I'm sitting here presenting this deck profile, I think that this card choice is fundamentally flawed. Play one copy of Rhoda instead of the one copy of one for one. Yes. Don't flame me in the chat. Uh, listen to the audio. I'm saying Rhoda. Play Rhoda instead of this card. Uh, and then we have our other cards. So we're playing three copies of Sales Ban. Uh, call Nibiru. Uh, you're not playing Nibiru, so you don't need to call Nibiru. Uh, you don't need to play your Nibirus. Call Nibiru, you can kind of play through the rest of it, you cannot play through a Nibiru, so that is what you call off your sales ban. And then one copy of Prohibition. 
I will show you why we're playing just one copy of this in the combo portion of the video. It is to essentially make sure that we completely lock our opponent out. There is not much they can do to counter this deck. Okay, now we get into the extra deck. And of course, starting us off, we have three copies of Battle Shogun of the Six Samurai. Uh, there have been times where I've experimented with this card at two. Always play three. Uh, the moment you cut it to two, it, the third will come up and you will think you're an idiot. Uh, there are like some semblances of this combo where you do need to use three to generate that extra counter on board to create the loop, which is why three are necessary. Uh, however, just one assault there is necessary. Once you resolve it, you're good. If it gets negated, you send its cost anyway, so the second one is never going to come up. So do not play two of this card. Uh, then we have our Link 4s. Uh, this is the reason why this deck doesn't really work in Master Duel. You do need two Sayuja. Uh, I think there's a Master Duel ban list like due, like, before, actually, the list should be out by this video comes out. Uh, that could change, and Sayuja may have gone to three, but I think this is at one in the OCG. That's why this deck doesn't work over there. Uh, you do 100% need the two of them to generate the combo that we're generating. Uh, you can do other stuff without the one, um, but realistically, to do the FTK or this build, you need two Sayuja. So two Sayuja, absolutely a must. Uh, the rest of our links, these are flex spots for whatever you would like to do in the combo. These are essentially the cards that are necessary. The rest of the extra deck is the spice that you put in. Uh, for this deck, we're playing one Halk, uh, one Dagda, one Appaloosa Bow of the Goddess for our links. Uh, for our Xyz, we have one Dugaris the Timeless. Uh, probably comes up the least out of everything in the extra deck. Uh, one copy of Tornado Dragon, one copy of Primera Mathmech Alan Bershin, and then one copy of Levier the Sea Dragon. Uh, then we have our Synchros coming through after that. That's right, Synchros, because we are making Beast and we are making Barkeon. Okay, so now we're at the combo portion of the video, and we're going to just start show off the standard two-card combo. So Kageki Kizaru, three, three cards remaining in hand. You do need to discard one of them, so keep that in mind. Uh, starting us off, we're going to normal summon our Kageki. Kageki effect will summon our Kazaru. Kazaru effect is going to trigger, and we will get our legendary secret of the six samurai. Uh, then we're going to link two off for our Asolde. Asolde effect is now going to trigger, sending three equip spells to the graveyard to summon our Hatsume. Hatsume effect, or well now, Hatsume being summoned will summon our legendary secret of the six samurai. And then we are going to link these off for our battle shogun of the six samurai. Uh, effect of battle shogun will discard that card in hand to go and get us our gateway, which is there. Uh, we're then going to slap down our gateway and activate our Hatsume effect. This is going to banish our Kageki and our legendary secret to summon back our Kazaru. To this zone here. That's now then going to place us some counters. And we're going to trigger a search off with the Kazaru. To go and get us a fire lad. Uh, where is fire lad? So one fire lad. Uh, we're then going to link these two off. For our battle shogun number two. This will now place a counter onto there. And they will go to four. Uh, we will remove these four. To go and get us our link uh, level 4, so we'll go and get ourselves a Kizan. We're going to special summon our Kizan, putting this to 3 and this to 2. Uh, we will remove all but one counter to get ourselves a Grandmaster. Special summoning our Grandmaster will put us to uh, just 2 down here. And then we are going to Link 4. So now we'll Link 4 with our Battle Shogun and our Grandmaster. To go into our Sayuja number one. Uh, we can now special summon our Mizuho with the Sayuja, which will put us to four here and two here. Remove two from gateway. Add a blue to your hand. Special summon the blue. This will put us to another two here. Remove the counters from the field. That will then go and get us another copy of blue. We can then special summon the blue because we control the red, and the loop is established. So there's two counters on the gateway here after summoning that blue. And now uh, red can trigger blue. Uh, blue will then trigger adding back red. You special summon it. You place a counter. You then go to four here on the gateway. Remove the four. Add back blue. Summon the blue. We'll go to two. Uh, pop, pop. Add back. Just constant. So 
special summon it back, go to four, remove the four. As long as you're summoning to this zone here, Battle Shogun will continue to place counters. Uh, then you can just kind of put whatever you'd like onto Battle Shogun. Uh, you just declare to your opponent how many times you're resolving the combo. Uh, Battle Shogun will then just gain that many counters or as to however you want to do, however many you want to do. And then, yeah, that's it for the standard portion of your combo. Uh, now we're going to go into the kind of rest of the combo. We're going to completely ignore counters at this point because counters are effectively irrelevant. You just commit the combo as many times as you need to with your Battle Shogun. As long as your Battle Shogun remains face up, it will have big attack. I am sorry for knocking the camera there. Um, but yeah, now we'll go through our standard combo. So now we're going to go into an overlay to get ourselves a Levier the Sea Dragon. Uh, Levier the Sea Dragon is going to detach the red to go and special summon back Legendary Secret of the Six Samurai. Uh, we're then going to add back our red back from Graveyard with the Gateway effect. And then we're going to special summon it to the field. Uh, this is now when we are going to make Sayuja number one. So we'll go one, two, three, and four for our Sayuja. No, sorry, Sayuja number two over here. So Sayuja number two is going to touch board. And now we are going to do a bunch of ads because we need to do some searching. So now we are effectively going to add every card that we need with our gateway, not once per turn. Busted. Uh, we're going to add not Ashi and Squire. We're going to get our three Kizans, uh, our one Fuma, and that's pretty much everything we need to commit to the full combo in this deck. So we have our free special summon from Sayuja. Uh, realistically, there you could have drawn th uh, drawn four, put back three if you wanted to. Uh, it's irrelevant. We have access to everything that we need in this deck. So we're going to start off with the combo from here. So now we're going to special summon our three copies of Kizan. Uh, this fairly important here. Uh, we're going to now overlay four for our primary math mech Alan uh, We're going to use that Alan Burshin effect to go and search Prohibition. Uh, then we are going to add back everything we've just sent to the bin. So we'll add back our three Kizans. And we're going to start messing around. So now we can go and use our Sayuja effect to special summon our Fuma. Uh, link these two off for our Tristron Halka Fibrax. Halka Fibrax effect is going to trigger special summoning you a Sheen Squire from the deck. Uh, remember, uh, Gateway can just infinitely summon back Sheen Squire. So, yeah, good times on that one. Uh, so now we can go and link these two off for our Artifact Dagda. So that's going to get our artifact package going. And now we can go and do some more fancy special summons. Uh, so what should we gain access to here first? Um, let's go... Hmm. Triggering off our Dagda is always going to be the problem. So special summoning our Kizan and our second Kizan. We're going to overlay the two. Uh, for our copy of Dugaris the Timeless. Um, yeah. Going to our Dagaris. Uh, we trigger our Dagaris at this point. Uh, we're going to use its effect to draw two to skip our next draw phase. So it's draw two, discard one card. We're simply doing this to trigger our Dagda. Uh, Semi-relevant that we need to trigger the Dagda. So we're going to go away on that. Set our Scythe. Uh, if you sequence it correctly, there is a way to do uh, the Halka Fibrax play after. So you primary math back Alan Bershining into the Dagda. But it is kind of necessary to do it now in this version of the combo, so that's why we're doing it here. So we'll do the Garus instead. We're going to draw two, discard one. Uh, we're going to put the Dagda back on the bottom of the deck, but we realistically, we're not going to do that draw set. That's just to activate a monster effect. We're just going to play with the hand that we currently have. Uh, we can use the effect to add back a bunch more stuff. Uh, now we're going to make our Appaloosa. So we'll special summon our Kizan. We're going to go into an Appaloosa off this. So we'll link the four off into our Appaloosa. This will be a 3 negate Appaloosa. Uh, special summon two more Kizans. Uh, we don't need these Kizans anymore. So we're going to turn these two into a Tornado Dragon. You can put this in defense position if you want. It's a pretty beefy defender. So we can drop the Tornado Dragon in defense position. That's how we're going to be popping off the, uh, the Scythe. Uh, then we are going to add back our one Kizan that we have remaining. Special summon it to the board. Synchro summon for... An Aeturia Beast. Gateway effect will summon back Sheen Squire. Special summon our Grandmaster because we still have the Battle Shogun. Guess what? Now we sink off into a Barkeon. 
Uh, then at this point, we are going to activate our Prohibition. In my opinion, the best card to call here is Forbidden Droplet. Droplet will stop you from essentially just losing your entire board. Dark Ruler No More may hurt, but Dark Ruler No More isn't going to end you, considering you're going to be skipping their turn with the Scythe that's going to be coming out into this zone here. So we're essentially going to pass turn. Uh, your opponent's going to draw for turn. Standby phase, you can just go activate your Tornado Dragon so they can't hit you with anything in main phase. Uh, that's going to pop our Scythe, summon the Scythe, Scythe effect. You have the ability to negate any trap that tries to stop you, any spell that tries to stop you. Droplets is going to be negated. And then we have the Appaloosa for three. Uh, this Scythe is going to resolve. Hopefully that will skip your opponent's turn. Uh, the only deck I've found that can like semi kind of play through this is Flawanderis. But even that loses to the Battle Shogun, punching them in the face next turn unless they have a way to tribute it away. Because uh, Battle Shogun has a absolute mountain of attack. And it just declaring an attack is going to be game over. Um, but yeah, that is essentially the profile for this one. As always, hit that subscribe button if you are new here. I said it earlier, do not recommend playing this in uh, Master Duel. Definitely don't recommend playing this in Master Duel. But as always, I've been Ben from Nolan TCG, and have a good afternoon, everybody.